Hello, everybody. This is Pahamar. Hello, Pahamar. Usually this is the part where I say, and... Look, you you said I could do the intro, so I'm doing it my way. Okay. I, w I just wasn't sure if I should say something at that point, or if you had more things. And this is Dire Butt. Thank you. No, no, this, this, this is the part where you say what. And the welcome episode. to episode 15 there you go. of Forever Stranded. <laughs> I like how it's like, hey, do the intro. Do it my way. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I said do the intro, but then you're just kind of like, this is Bahamar. And then you're like, you like stop. You it was dead stop. A, you didn't even give me a chance to continue going. I had a shtick. I had a whole shtick <laughs> planned. All right, do you want to start over? I, no, no, no. We're live. We're live. We're doing it live. Well, start over live then. I'll keep recording and you can, and you can just say what you want to say. No, the moment the moment's passed. The no, moment's go passed. ahead. I want I want to hear what Let's your go. shtick was. I feel no. like you're 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 faking it about the shtick, and you didn't really have a shtick. No, 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 no. I would never fake shtick. I, I absolutely believe that you would. I have total serious shtickness here. All right, you ruined it. You ruined the moment. Shtick's passed. Oh, things going like that. Okay. Do I need one of these? Do I need Do I need to put that in there? See, you don't even care. I'm. You know, go ahead. I'm listening. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for shtick. No, you're not. You're building. I'm waiting for shtick. I need, no, no. I need brown mushrooms anyway, I think. I'm not sure, but I may be. What does brown mushrooms have to do with shtick? Brown mushrooms is what I need for this thing I need to craft. Are you making mushroom sticks? I'm making meaty stew, I think. Does it involve sticks? Is it shtick D5? I don't know. I've lost track of what you're saying. Okay. Well, all right. Now this is the part I'm going to come up with a hashtag to spam you with. No I, hashtags. I'm done with your hashtags. It's my favorite part of the series is when people start tweeting you from the hashtags. All right. So we've done Flower, so mushroom, TV shows. Uh, oh, what should we do? We've done music. Aw. I get four bowls from that craft and I need five. I want you no. to tweet Dyer. I'm done with the hashtags. Your favorite meme. And I want you to use a hashtag dire meme. You send him your dankest memes. Oh no, no. Hashtag dank wolf. Use hashtag dank wolf, send him your memes. He'll love you forever. So cook chicken. Kind of waiting to see if you just kind of drop off bowls. the server now. You're like, boy. I'm thinking about it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm thinking about it. Three mo brown mushrooms. So it does have to be brown mushrooms. It wasn't cycling in the JEI lookup, so I wasn't sure if it needed to be brown mushrooms or not. And I only have reds right now, which is why I broke these, hoping mycelium would both spread and grow a mushroom for me. And thus far it's done neither, which is super polite. Um... Yeah, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, maybe watering can let's meet it up. One of these two? I don't know. Maybe. And then uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, wait, we do have brown mushrooms. Where do brown mushrooms come from? Loot chests. Sweet, dude. Yeah, that's why I keep getting the loot chests. Because, you know, I gotta get them mushrooms. Alright, so now the cauldron's still not running. So maybe it needs fire under it, do you think? I don't know how the, f how the cauldron from Better With Mods works. What are you trying to make? Beefy stew? No. Hearty stew. Hearty stew is what I'm trying to make. Hearty stew? Hearty stew. You're having a party? No, hearty. Oh, it's so nice of you to throw a party for me. <sighs> Guys, it's like he's mad. Guys, it's Pahimar. It is. We did that in the intro. I know. You struggled a little bit, but you got there eventually in the end. I got there? Yep. If only I didn't have someone sabotaging me. If only. So what if we put... Alright, let's 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 see about making cobblestone, um, netherrack. Because that's cobblestone. We actually don't have a lot of lava going on. What's up? What's up with that? Oh, I just uh, moved it all to the um, magmatic generator thingies. Oh. Yeah. Well then. What do we have cooking it? Do we have it as lava still, or is it netherrack? Oh, look. The fire things are moving, so that's cool. 
Say what now? <sighs> so there's a cauldron and there's a stoked cauldron. I guess this is a regular cauldron. What were you asking? I'm sorry. I'm cooking something. Did you swap out the lava for another rack? Did I swap out the lava for another rack? Yes, underneath there, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Where, where if you want it to be faster, you can get um, the 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 blazing pyrothium. You'll need a, a liquid form of it, but if you make a magma crucible, you can do that. Um, and it might. I'm I'm not sure, but I feel like it might melt inside the smeltery. You can test it. It's not a bad recipe, and you can get sulfur from an extractor with gunpowder. And we have an extractor from IC2, and we have lots of gunpowder. Maybe not lots, but we have some gunpowder. <gasps> Hardy stew. Stew. I completed the quest, stews. Congratulations, yeah, buddy. you're cooking. I am cooking, and I'm doing a good job of it as well. It was a quest, I did it. That's all. Yeah, you did that thing. Kind of did. I can eat some watermelon jelly now. Yay! To celebrate. It was delicious. Yeah. Did, did you see what I did there? Yes. I took jelly and delicious and made delicious. I, uh, yeah, I, I did understand that, yes. I put all the food that I just made inside the the, the refrigerator and uh, we can also get rewards now so we can make I mean rabbit stew meaty stew those are actually pretty easy to make considering we have animals like golden apples those are easy to craft so I guess loot chest and we'll just hope that's the thing about the reward system in this mod pack Bahamar is like your rewards almost never are worth choosing because they're always so easy to craft. It's not like, oh man, it's really cool that I got that as a quest reward. All the rewards are kind of like, meh, I guess the loot chest because you might get something good from it and then you wind up getting cobblestone. You know what I mean? Not a clue. I need to kill some creepers and some skeletons, and then we will have completely completed the first chapter of this. Completely. Completely completed. Completely, completely completed. I got two compressed diamond hammers. That's actually kind of cool. And compressed spider eyes. So two more compressed diamond hammers, and you could get a double compressed, which I know you wanted. Double compressed diamond? Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, so, our sifting has been going well, and I completed all those quests and things, so that's exciting news, and we've actually got a decent amount of ore to go process over here. So that's spiffy. Few YouTube comments, by the way, have said that, like, I'm wasting my time by not um, hammering the iron ore into sand and dust. I disagree. Um, I feel like it takes more time to do that then it would be just to sift again. Like, the, somebody probably did the math somewhere. And maybe I'm wrong. But, eh. It's really annoying to, like, re-sift all the metals and stuff, so. Um, so that's that quest done, Pahamar. Uh, we have a few things in Tinkapow. Uh, we can do sterling generators now, which will get us a lifeblood crystal. So I might craft that real quick. We will also need a combustion generator. And that wouldn't be too bad. Um, and that might actually be a nice way to generate some power. Um, and I might want to get into solar panels from um, environmental tech because they're actually really good power gen. So maybe I'll make that real fast and we'll go from there. Does that sound like a plan? What are your plans for the day? Um, not dying. I like your plan. Why are I thought you would. Here? These belong in here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't get us the Ardite that we're looking for. Oh. Sifting so, crushed redstone. Or crushed uh, netherrack should get it, right? Yep. So I need to actually set up um, netherrack production, which requires lava. And you used up a ton of lava, so I'm going to speed up our lava job. That works. I mean, I didn't use it. The lava is still in this drum over here, but it's currently powering our base. 
But soon I would like to... There's apparently, there's also like an advanced machine block of some kind that might work underneath those things. You can go test it. Um, in fact, I can test it in a single player world. I forget. It might be the IC2 advanced machine block? I forget. Some Somebody mentioned somewhere on a YouTube comment that there's like an advanced machine. And I don't know if that was one of those specific to a pack a really long time ago things or what. A machine to put under the crucible? Yeah, and it makes it like really fast. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, me neither. So that's the sterling generator, and then we just need a furnace. And that should be pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm just going to go with Blazing py uh, Pyrothium. Cool. Blazing, or, 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 or Sterling Generators actually can be pretty good source of power. Though not as good nowadays, but still pretty good nonetheless. Uh, so we might actually use this for power at some point. Uh, for now, I guess I'll just pop him down in this general area. Why not? And the other one I need, the other generator. You detected that? Good. Combustion generator. And that just needs some electrical steel. You said steel. we have a magma crucible? What? You said we had a magma crucible? Uh, no, I said you can make one. Oh. Yeah. Sounds like work. Um, it's a little bit of work, but not too bad. Well, it confirmed you, uh can't make liquid blazing pyrothium in the smeltery. Aha. So yes, you will need to make a magma crucible. Oh, fun. Uh, another brick. Redstone reception, redstone conductance. Invar, do we still have Invar? In theory. If not, like, the, the, the thing that makes Invar is, like, hyperspeed. I, I put the max upgrade in it. But not if I get there first. Ah! You're just hilarious. Ah! Hey, look, I'm getting you an extra heart, buddy. I got you the last one. No, 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 not that kind of heart. I, yeah, the lifeblood crystal. I got you the last one. Oh, okay. Well, quest complete, so feel free to give yourself an extra heart. Boink! Yay! Yay! And I should eat something, because I'm hungry. This'll do. Alright, can we come back in a minute? Okay. Alright, be right back, guys. Alright guys, so, Palmar, by the way, I don't know if you noticed this, but that portable temperature regulator burns through RF really fast. Oh, that would explain why my temp's going up. Yeah, you need to recharge that thing manually in our capacitor every now and then. Okay, well, Eventually, well, I wonder if I can make it now. Yeah, I might be able to make this now. That's probably doable. Because I... I have found one of these, yes or no. Maybe not so doable. I thought I had one of these. I mean, you know, I did get one and I used it to make the thing. So, yeah, so I don't have one of those. Uh, next time it's nighttime, I need to hunt Enderman and then we'll talk about getting that a little less manual. Does that sound fair? Sure. All right, but the another thing I want to make, guys, is um Dude, a tier two shower. What? What are you saying? Uh I'll make us a wireless charger so that it wirelessly recharges all our items. But I need an Enderman head. Wirelessly. Yes, wirelessly. As in without wires. Wirelessly. Yep. Uh that's not bad, but the tier one solar panels, which we'll need two of to get this, needs this stuff. Oh my. I need to make an empower or pahamar. Empower. Well, I made a magma crucible. That's cool. So you've made the atomic reconstructor, which is great. Uh, and I'm, actually, I'm good at things. 
larger range than you would think. So I might want to like over here could be my So if I wanted to do an empower, it would be something like this. That needs to be there, so that needs to be, yeah, it's a little close to the broken ship stuff, but I could I could break into that. So like, you could have one uh, here. I need a fluid transposer, don't I? Ah. What's up? I need a fluid transposer to get this out, don't I? Uh, get one in. The blaze of pyrothium that the Magma Crucibles just made. You could also make a tank from Ender.io, and it should be able to auto-extract it. And pipe it out. Sounds like a plan. Yes, sir. Can't I also just use the particle tank from Thermal Expansion? Yes, if you would choose to do that, yes, that's an option as well. So that could be our uh, little setup for things and stuff. And then, with regards to the laser doohickey... So, strictly speaking, it looks like the fluid tank from Ender.io is cheaper. Indeed. <laughs> Let's get more of you. Let's get... You know I've advanced really far in a in a mod pack once I start actually using not cobble. There we go. Now be careful, this stuff's hot. Okay. So let's try and press this button and see. Do you think it'll work with your cauldron? I don't think it converted anything. Uh, the cauldron I've just made? Yeah, the one that you've also put burning netherrack under. I probably don't need that anymore, so if you want to go to it, feel free. I only needed it to make that meaty stew for the quest. Okay. So with that said, all I need to do is get you power, which I'll work on. We might be getting close to needing a basement, Bombar. Oh goodness, that was scary. I don't know. Asking you to do work always sounds scary. No, the uh, blazing. I accidentally placed blazing pyrothium instead of sand. Right. So what we do need is a lot of soul sand for this because I need some aesthetic quartz, and I don't think we have a ton of quartz, do we, Pahi? Quartz, 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 quartz. There it was. So we've got thirty-two quartz. So I need. I need. It's a cool effect. 15 blocks of quartz. So that's a block of quartz, right? And that, that's that's essentially a block of quartz. What's that? So when you place blazing pyrothium down on sand, it makes glass. Right. So come look at the front of the ship. Oh, the front of the ship. Yes. Cool. And the source block is going to always be a little bit better than the... Well, I thought it would be, but it's not, actually, so that's interesting. Oh, um, don't put the source block under the cauldron. Put the source block under one of your crucibles. The plan is to actually have a couple of runs of this. Like, I need more than just this many crucibles, so don't worry about source block placement. I just want right to see if now. I'm right about this. Oh, no, interesting. The source block is still 15, so that's cool. I could have sworn the source block was, like, better. But I guess I'm wrong about that. Maybe that changed. I don't know. Sometimes the source block's good, sometimes it's not as good. Uh, so I need a lot more nether quartz. So we're going to want to automate this. You know what I might want to automate? Your face. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's a lot of blocks of iron. 
That requires that, and the soul of that, and that. That's not, oh, but we need four of those. So that is terrible. Um, there's another thing. There's another thing. There's another thing. That's not as crazy recipe-wise. This, by the way, does not automatically generate water. So in normal mod packs, yes. In this mod pack, no. Um, was it in better with mods? Can we come back in a minute? Because I need to remember there's another way to set up an infinite water source. You're just terrible. I know, but I want to. I don't want to stare at JEI for the next 15 minutes, and that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay. Okay. All right, buddy. So I did find what I was looking for. It's called an infinite water source. And it seems a little bit easier to make than the other one. I don't, I don't exactly know how it works. Um, infinite water source from pressure pipes. So I think it's only a single block and it'll work. Yes, that's what it looks like. Um, so the thing here is the reservoir recipe is not bad, except that you need four reservoirs for a functional reservoir. Like it has to be a two by two. The infinite water source is pretty expensive because it needs a mass fabricator. But other than that, it's not bad. So I think I might be able to pull it off with my limited technology with IC2 that I have here. Uh, I'm taking out your sulfur dust, by the way, and I'm throwing it in the far right chest. I'm assuming that's where you put my rubber that I made earlier. Something like that, yeah. I wouldn't mind having a metal former, so I'm gonna make one of those real quick. It just requires a bit of bronze casing. So five bronze, machine casing, electronic circuit, and coils. I'm not even gonna get that, because it's all good. Um, anything else in here that might be useful for me right now? Not super duper, but I will need you, and I will need you, and I'll probably need another one of you, so that's string. Does that have to be treated wood? No, it doesn't, and two iron. I'm just gonna make one of these now, because I know it's about time that I'm gonna need one. Sweet. Um, so let's get to work. Uh, we're gonna oh, want... by the way, while we were waiting for you, I killed an enderman. Good job, dude. Did you, you get a head from her? No, I got an ender pearl. That's pretty good. Cool. So, five of you. Is there a way to speed up how um, fast liquid gets pulled out of a transfer node? Uh, transfer node. The one from extra utilities? Yeah. Speed upgrades. Which are redstone heavy recipe wise. Uh, and you're going to need a resonator to make the upgrade base. So, no. I mean, yes, there's a way, but it's not super easy. It's not terrible, though. But I'm not going to fully automate this netherrack production. I'll just have it fill up the barrels and I'll just manually click the redstone in. That's cool. I think that's what I need for a metal former. Yes. So I should go check on the cactus farm while I'm waiting. Who that's likes cool. cactus? Everybody likes cactus. All right, so with the metal form already, um, I think I've got everything I need to make a mass fabricator. So I'm going to need so water. one, two, three, four advanced circuits, right? So that basically means I'm going to need four circuits. Um, and I think I get one becomes three when this is extruding mode. So it's two copper per circuit. So I'm going to need eight copper total. <laughs> Trying to be a little conservative on my copper. I know we have a bunch though. 
Yes. So that's enough copper for that. Um, we do have a compressor, which is good. Uh, the other thing we're going to want... is to get some coal ground up in the sagma, which I put a double layer capacitor in. Thinking what I should do though is test out these guys, but maybe in a little bit. Why am I burning out? Oh, my regulator. It's a uh, power. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. That's cool, that's cool. I don't need the thermometer. I don't even know how I got that in my inventory, to be honest. All that time waiting for you. More than likely true. So you can compress. You could probably just use a little boost in fuel. That's going well. We got some gas tiers. Oh? Yeah, man. That's kind of exciting. So those will be for the two advanced machines that we're going to need. We're also going to want four of these dudes, which I'm kind of glad I got as a quest reward. I know earlier I said quest rewards kind of stink in this pack. That has not changed. We're going to need four diamond dust. Can I get that in a sag mill? I think I need a macerator for that, which is a bummer. But... 200 gas tiers gets you one bird. Really? Nice. Yep. I'm just going to borrow these because I need to make a macerator. And I think I need flint unless he changed that recipe. Nope, flint and cobble. Flint, 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 flint. There's flint. So that, 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 that. And then uh, the hammer with eight of these. And you don't get more iron plates um, in this pack. Huh, <laughs> two cobbles is what I'm missing. So there's no real reason to um, You're use so the metal quiet. former to make you the have me worried. plates. What's that? You're so quiet, you have me worried. You know me, buddy. I just know it means you're talking to your audience and not me. Yeah, buddy. He loves you more. I mean, you're my buddy, you know that. So macerate those four diamonds. You could be done compressing, which means I can make that. Um, we're gonna want 16. For those, uh, we're gonna want some steel, which I cooked some earlier. Like, I've been casually tossing steel on those things. I just forget where I put it. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, we've got eight of these that we're going to need for steel plates. And I'm assuming that I can craft these. So, seriously, yes. what are you working on? Uh, I'm trying to get us uh, an infinite water source. Any particular reason? Because uh, it's infinite, and then I can automate much easier uh, the creation of soul sand. Cool. I thought you'd approve. Okay, so mass fabricator needs two of these bad boys. It needs... We're going to need four of you. We're going to need you guys. That should be second. these things that we need. We're going to need a bunch of lapis while we're here and glowstone. Can we get back in a sec? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You said we're out of mesh? Yeah, we are out of mesh. Um, working on that. That, for the time being, is manual, but I will probably remediate that sooner than later. At some point, I need to get around to auto-smelting all these ore we're getting, because the only thing I've been smelting has been iron, because that's what we've needed the most of, but we have, like, a stupid amount of other metals. Uh, 
Uh, but guess what I have? A golden ticket. A mass fabricator. Which, combined with a few other not too expensive items, uh, should get us an infinite water source. Which means we can stop worrying about cactus. Because that's a big problem. Well, so here's the thing. I need a bucket of water for each piece of soul sand, right? Um, and I need about two stacks of quartz right now, uh, which would probably be about 128 buckets of water. So that would literally be our entire water reserve to get like the quartz that I need right now. And who knows how much more soul sand we'll need in the future. So I'd like to automate soul sand while not at the same time, like, you know, killing our thirst levels. You know what I mean? Me? Me? You, you, should, you should know what I mean. Uh, however, unfortunately, this wrapping up point, sir. It is. It is um, so how about we uh, wrap up the episode here? I'm going to go see if I can find an Enderman head. First thing I have to find is an Enderman, which is kind of rare in this pack. I don't know if I mentioned that like a million times or not, but it, it's pretty true. Well, you did kind of sleep through a uh, Blood Moon. I didn't sleep through a Blood Moon. I was AFK through a Blood Moon. There's a difference. And you, last time I checked, had the ability to go outside and do things, so... Q, 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 Q. Uh, indeed. All right, wrapping up point. Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time, and I want to get the infinite water source, automate soul sand, and then progress further. All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.